there, my beautiful Leos, and welcome to your weekend reading for this weekend of March 1st to the 4th. Keep in mind that time is fluid here, Leo, and this is your channel, so any reading can resonate to you. Take what's yours, leave the rest behind, and most importantly, do not force a reading to fit. So let's see what your moon affirmation is for the weekend. And this is your card. And it says, I let go, I release, I am within perfect possibility with a dark moon coming in. Wow. Leo, you got a lot of letting go energy lately, um, a lot of release energy, a lot of completion energy coming out. So I definitely feel, I don't know why I'm shining right here. I don't understand. Oh, it's the sun. Um, <clears throat> sorry if that's like distracting. The sun will move eventually. Um, so you're definitely letting go. And with this indication, um, within perfect possibility, Spirit is saying that you are moving out of a dark night of the soul process. Um, some of you have been doing inner child healing or really trying to, you know, reflect deep down inside to recondition yourself and release what no longer serves you. You could be doing some specific releases at this time, letting go of certain people, certain places, certain things. Um, good time to declutter your energy. Um, if you are holding on to items that no longer serve you and or are just collecting dust, now would be a good time to um, either give those things away, put them up for sale. I don't know, like have a garage sale or something. So let's see what your fortune is. We have the star. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and possibilities. I'm sorry, positivity. All right, so you have the star coming through with the dark moon, and this card is indicating hard times are over. This card is indicating that you've been in the dark night of the soul. So it looks like a very... I mean, this is so interestingly connected. The fact that you're getting all of this release energy... Spirit is really trying to give you a strong message here, Leo, that there is a very difficult situation in your life, a very difficult feeling or thought process that is finally on its way out of your energy. Let's see what else you got. We have the eagle. Card number nine. You will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. There it is. Coming out of the darkness and soaring to new heights with the eagle. So with symbolism here of the eagle and the star, spirit is really indicating that things are about to start getting a whole lot better here for you. Um, but you have to release. The more you hold on to things you don't like, the more you're going to get what you don't like. Um, the more you hold on to things that no longer serve you, the more you're going to attract in things that no longer serve you or that do not serve you, as I should say. So, you know, tarot isn't magic, but you could definitely work with the energy that's being presented to you. And it looks like you have a huge moment to really soar over obstacles, hard times, difficulties, whatever the case may be, you're really getting a moment to release all of this from your energy, whether you decide to take it or not, is all up to you. So let's see what your quantum oracle is giving you. Cycle card number five with transformation. There it is. Right underneath that dark moon. We also have intention card number six with playing it safe. And we also have a consciousness of lack, card number five. Yeah, there's something that you don't have. There's something that you want. There's something that you are longing for here. And Spirit is saying, hey, it's always so comfortable to focus on what we don't have. Um, but it's looking like your energy... is going to feel a lot more 
courageous to opening up to these new possibilities and these new ways of thinking. You have 5-5 five, five here as well, indicating a change, a release. Let's see on transformation. We have consciousness card number four with great gratitude. Yeah. So whatever you're letting go of, whatever you're releasing or whatever you're being guided and called to release, spirit is like, Leo, you don't even know how grateful you're going to be from this moment. Allow it to happen. On playing it safe, we have joyous fun with card number seven, energy. And we also have friends and colleagues with people. Yeah, I feel the need to let you know to stop comparing yourself to other people. Because I feel, you know, comparison is the thief of joy. Um, is that the quote? Well, I'm going to make it the quote for right now. Because I feel like for a lot of you, you could be comparing your path to other people's paths, feeling like you're not as far as you'd like to be, or you're not as abundant or successful as other people. And spirit is indicating that that doesn't mean that it'll never happen for you. But taking the right steps and opening up to this energy and changing your perspective is really what's needed. So it looks like there is going to be a release of not only a difficulty for you, but also um, when you feel like as if you're comparing yourself or feeling hurt in that sense. There you go. Wow. Three of Swords to the Eight of Cups. So you're moving on from something. This is a big transformation. When you move on from the Three of Swords, sadness, isolation. I feel like for some of you, you know what I feel too? This is like super random, but I feel like for some of you, you almost like weren't allowing yourself to have as much fun. I don't know exactly why. Let's see. You also have release with death. There it is. So this is a big ass transformation. I'll tell you that. This is a big ass change. You got transformation. You got release. You got release up there. You got moving on over here. Some of you have been praying to get over something or get over someone. If that's the case, congratulations. You have done it. You are feeling like you are ready to move on. You know, I feel like some of you, there has just been something that you've just been holding on to and not even realizing that you were holding on to it. You know, let's clarify this. Wow. You have a big change. You got a big release here. We have the six of pentacles. We have the empress and we have the wheel of fortune. I'm telling you y'all tarot weight magic, but when you follow the guidance, you spin the wheel. So the fact that release is here as death and the wheel of fortune is on top of it is showing for me that this is how you're spinning the wheel this weekend by releasing, by letting go. Because <clears throat> the more you <clears throat> energetically, the more you put out what you don't have, the more you are reminding the universe that you don't have it. And when you do that, you put pressure <clears throat> onto the energy instead of just allowing it to unfold. <clears throat> we have the King of Swords, we have the Ten of Cups, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I definitely feel like for a lot of you Leos, you're really getting over something that was bothering you. Something or someone was bothering you. Ten of Swords, Knight of Swords, the Sun... The Hermit, the Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. Beautiful. Yeah, you're definitely getting over something. The Sun to the Ace of Swords. You are finding the clarity. You are finding the perfect possibilities for you there now. And it definitely looks like the Wheel of Fortune is here to bless you with a turn of events. And you want this turn of events. Um, deep down inside, your soul wants this release. And with the cards that you also have gotten, I mean, I feel like for a lot of you, it's a mental release as well as not feeling so aggravated about something. I feel like aggravation. I feel like difficulty. So I definitely feel I want to get some tea leaf out here because it looks like they keep indicating for you the Ace of Swords for something. 
So this is showing me that for a lot of you, it could be some sort of mental difficulty, <clears throat> a feeling, or you may have been waiting for some sort of clarity or waiting for some sort of information. Let's see. We have the goldfish with increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. We are in the season of the fish. And we have the diamond. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. And you also have the egg. Success assured with good plans and hard work. Yeah. So I feel like for a lot of you, there is this feeling of... I, I, I keep getting a collective waiting type of energy. It's not only for you. <clears throat> I feel collectively there is a waiting period for people. And I feel like for a lot of you, the waiting period or the process of transformation could feel a little bit messy or feel a little bit difficult, but the rewards that come from this are going to be well worth your while. So, you know, sometimes you have to fly low to gain momentum and increase your, you know, your position and the heights that you reach in life. And it looks like you are finally about to break through a barrier that has been either A, holding you back because of your own self-doing, or B, holding you back in a certain type of direction because I feel like of impatience. So there is definitely something happening here for you, and it seems very broad. It seems very general. It really is in the process of releasing something, moving on from something, and literally getting over something. So you're either getting over something or someone. You know, some of you, this could be an anxiety. This could be something that you've been dealing with health-wise, health issues. Whatever the case may be, get ready for a full-on transformation. You're going to feel different. From this moment on, you will feel different. So... This is what I have here for you, Leo, for the weekend. I want to get you a ending oracle from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. In terms of zodiac signs and the spread that could be around you or in your chart, you have Scorpio, you have Virgo, you have Leo. The star up there, indication of Aquarius. And let's see here, Leo. You have the River Queen. Flow, letting go, natural movement, card 36. Yep, you also have the goldfish here. So definitely indication of some water energy. I mean, you do have moving on here. So strong indication that you're getting over something emotionally. I feel like it's a getting over something as a big energy. I don't feel like it's just like a thought process or emotion or a thing. I feel like it's like... A grander type of energy than that. So let's see. Card number 36. The River Queen flows into your life as an ally to remind you about the concept of allowing the, naw, the law of non-attachment. Remember that all rivers come from the mountains and run to the sea to be absorbed by the larger body of water. There the liquid evaporates into the clouds that rain on the mountains to continue an endless cycle of fluidity. The River Queen requires you to be fluid and let go of rigidity and perfectionism. You will travel far as long as you let go and let flow, geez. Even maneuvering around the greatest blockages like water streams around big boulders. No obstacle can hold you back now if you're willing to surrender to the natural flow of events. Be easy on yourself and others and watch how smoothly you move forward. You may be surprised where this river takes you. Yep. And that goes right there back to your first card. I let go. I release. I am within perfect possibility. So flow like water and your river will lead you to where you are meant to be. So... Thank you, my beautiful, wonderful Leos. I love y'all so, so very much. I hope you have a wonderful weekend ahead. Happy March. Your Leo Plus for March, where you will get love readings for each individualized zodiac sign, will start this weekend. So if that's something you're interested in, do not forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get alerted of when they start going out. 
And thank you, my beautiful Leos, once again. I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now.